Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to SA Boxing Talk. You're here with Hayden Jones and let's get to this topic at hand straight away. Kevin and Arena getting a co-promotion with Golden Gloves and obviously the new uh, promoter on board, Queensberry Promotions, which is Frank Warren. Now, let's have a quick dissection of if, if, is this a good move, is it not? So, I mean, any move overseas is a progressive move, we'd say, right? So, um, Frank Warren, he's got a good stable uh, of boxes, but the cruiserweight division that he currently has and I'll read it out for you. Sorry, I got the laptop here. So I wanted to quickly get a closer glimpse. The cruiserweight division has a five and one. James Bronze Jr. Uh, sorry, five and zero. Oh, correction. Uh, Jordan Thompson, nine and zero, oh, and of course uh, Jack Massey, who fifteen and zero. Oh. So they got three cruiserweights, all undefeated, up and coming prospects, and now they've added Kevin Larina to the mix, potentially for next year as they look to move on. What does this mean for the Lawrence Okoli fights? I don't know. Because the idea, and I thought that was the process behind the whole, you know, the WBA ratings and Kevin Arena being so highly rated was the fight against Lorenzo Coley was going to be sort of be like the, the natural uh, sort of move. But anyway, they're going forward and I don't think Frank Warren and Andy Hearns necessarily work together. So does Lorenzo Coley necessarily work with this brand? I don't think so. But looking into this, maybe they're going to go a separate route. Maybe they're going to look to be fighting more Eastern Europeans. Uh, and so forth, maybe in UK, build up Kevin Arena's name in UK. We all know that Kevin has, you know, always overcome the obstacles and sort of risen to the occasion many, many times. So to doubt him operating on world level is an absolute joke. Look, look at him now going going forward. Potentially, he's going to be at a cruiserweight for a very long time. Uh, heavyweight's obviously a move that maybe he can consider later in his career. Um, being a being a really big guy, having to cut a lot of weight. But if you have to fight. Uh, in stable guys, you maybe look at Jack Massey, uh, 15 and 0 for Kevin. Is he rated? I don't know. Uh, do they want to keep uh, sort of these guys away from each other? Probably, as I said before. So we're going to be looking at some of the other cruiserweights in the world. Nice thing about uh, Kevin Lorena is he's, he's, he's very uh, open to the move as well, I'm guessing, because of the fact that he's gone ahead with this. So it's not like he's been you know, forced into a situation where he, he, he wants to box out of South Africa. I know he's got a lot of ambition. So going forward into these fights, I think that fighting in the UK is probably the best move behind the USA. I still think the USA is the biggest uh, boxing sort of home. Uh, and, and then the UK is second, but the UK is probably more well supported currently. So, but then nothing, nothing beats America. But again, fighting the UK is a giant step for him. Uh, and, and for a lot of boxers, it's particularly in South Africa, not getting the sort of coverage that, that we that we need to sort of grab that global audience. So the move, yes, good move. I say I say thumbs up for that move. Uh, very very ambitious move, but it's about time. You know, it's like it's like one of those things that you know we've been waiting for something serious to happen in Kevin uh, Kevin's career, because you know a lot of naysayers. I know the word gets brought up a lot, but a lot of naysayers says. When is Kevin going to step up and take a real fight? That's the sort of argument that people have. And here we go. Here's a move in the right direction. Here's a move saying he's going to fight in the UK. Now, the UK audience is not going to buy into, for example, um, a keep busy fight or something like that for someone they do, they do not know. So maybe for a guy like, you know, Jordan Thompson, uh, J uh, James Bronze Jr., maybe a, 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 like a sort of a keep busy fight for them is okay because it's their country. When you've got a guy like Kevin Arena coming into uh, the UK, you're going to get a more hostile territory where they're probably going to give him a hard test because they want to know, is he good enough to be at this level? So they will probably test him straight up. And, you know, with all the South African backing, I hope that we all get behind this and say, listen, this is a good move. Let's get behind this move because, you know, there's just too much negativity surrounding this and like, like not this uh, surrounding his career, but he's young and like it, it, this is the right step now. So enough of the enough of the bad talk, enough of everything like that. This is the move that uh, perhaps is going to take him to that next level and see him fighting the fight that he's always wanted. Maybe get the fight against Breeders eventually down the line. That's the fight that I know he wants the most. And Okoli. Okoli is probably the one, but if Hearn and Frank Warren work together, that would be absolutely fantastic. I think that uh, they, they will if the deal's right. And I think and I hope in this case that Kevin does get the crack at Lawrence Okoli. Both guys are stars aligning. And again, it's his big chance next year as his breakout, so to speak, on the world scale. Obviously, he's a world champion here in South Africa, but nothing beats fighting abroad and fighting on the big bills in, as I said, the USA or the UK. Nothing beats those sort of things. You can fight here, but nothing beats that. And, and now he's got that opportunity to do so, being co-promoted by Frank Warren. 
So we look forward to some good news going forward and of course some, some new announcements coming soon from the Queensberry side. Hopefully all's tied up and we get to find out sort of which direction they're taking Kevin and Rina in. And yeah, exciting times for South African boxing as the guys are traveling and winning now. And I hope this trend continues with Kevin as well as one of the sort of front runners of the South African boxing scene. So yeah, guys, um, that, that's about it on that one. And uh, yeah, if you have anything to say, weigh in on that topic, please uh, like, comment and subscribe on it. And uh, well, subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video. So yeah, we'll see you next time. Aight, cheers.